So I think some of the meta zoo people are finally waking up. They are not happy to be pumped and dumped by Rudy Chan, and they know it now. They know it with the, I mean, there are a few of them that may not know this yet, but the large majority of them do seem to understand that MetaZoo is not going in the right direction. I believe four of their biggest artists quit. And I don't know. Again, there is not any transparency with MetaZoo. And I've heard much, much worse things about the MetaZoo inner workings, uh, including um, potential staffing issues, right? Where, you know, hey, you, you make a nerd, you give them power over a company, Company's got some female employees. You know what is happening next, right? Uh, do I need to LSV this or do I need to Conley Woods? There's a lot of incidences or Frank Leppard. Uh, there are a lot of incidents uh, in geek culture where the first thing they do is then, you know, you kind of understand. Okay, now back to the Rudy promos. They are very bad because the sell through rate is very poor in fact as you saw with this promo uh we are in the month of november meaning in october which is 10 none of them sold and in november none of them sold so again obviously this is a really high demand product if it's so liquid that legitimately in the last half year one or two three of them sold so these uh, not a Timmy and all this stuff. The Poncho, I believe the guy's gone. Um, you know, Timmy's investment and they make fun of this whole thing. It's fun when everyone's making money and everyone's selling these boxes for $500 a box. It's not fun when those $500 boxes become $50 or less. Uh, it's also kind of interesting. This one is never sold. You know, there's no sales data uh, on the card. So there you go. I mean, you got to be able to sell it, guys. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, it doesn't matter what somebody listed at. You can buy list something on, you can you can put something, buy it now on e eBay for a million dollars. You put your finger, your toenail, tail, toenail clippings on eBay. Doesn't mean it's worth a million dollars until somebody pays you that money. And that's what the MetaZoo homies are finding. The homies are finding out, hey, man, man my MetaZoo ain't worth shit. And they're, they're waking up. Um, they are absolutely waking up to this concept because they're, they're in desperate need for money. They go, they try to sell. They ask Rudy, are you going to buy? And he says, no, man, I ain't going to buy for any money. So things are um, very bad in MetaZoo. Uh, things are probably going to get worse in MetaZoo. Uh, I don't really see how... I'll put it nicely. I don't really see how they get out of this. Like if you invested $500 per box into the MetaZoo, and even the Metal. Let's, let's talk about the $699, $700 for a mystery box that the majority of people got a Rudy Go Nice Metal. We're going to take a look at that. That's like a $10, $20 card with very little volume on it. And that was the chase, right? That's what you were chasing in those mystery boxes. Man, this is um, Rudy's Nice Metal. The original owner of this page helped celebrate the 6.9 year anniversary of Alpha Investments. Benefits include not being a Timmy. No, if you're paying $700 for a mystery box, you are a Timmy. Man, you are the definition of a Timmy. That's a mud effing mystery box, guys. Look at your, your all grown up. Time flies when you're making smart financial decisions. And not simply being a carry out in the yard. Thanks for all the fun. Um, I believe this. I mean. I believe this card on TCG Player. Started at $80 a year ago. Around November 14th. To November 20th. 2022. And now the card is down to $10. We're shipping. Uh, Timmy's Emporium. Will sell you a near mint hollow. For $9.49. We're shipping. So. Yeah, you can get it for less than $10. And this was what they were chasing in the mystery box, I believe. Some type of Meta Zoo card. And they were all so, oh man, there's so much value in this. And I can't believe all the value Alpha Investments gave me. And the 
Alpha Investment 6.9 should have been a clear warning to everybody. Like he was bashing Magic the Gathering's product. But the 6.9 product is just so much, so much worse in my opinion. And um, eBay will show it. Um, you, you can look at you can look at any amount of information here. The Meta Zoo was not a great investment. People say, "Oh, okay, Magic the Gathering." No, I would say at least Magic the Gathering is a I would say a viable investment, but it is not. Um, it's not a Meta Zoo is not on the level of Magic the Gathering. I think most people notice Meta Zoo right now is getting a lot of negativity from their artists leaving. They're getting a lot of negativity due to quote staffing issues. I'll put that politely for them. They're getting a lot of negativity. I mean, I got excited for Meta Zoo for Hello Kitty because my girlfriend really wanted to open it. Guess what, man? It was supposed to come out during Halloween. It didn't come out. Like I'm like, wait, what? I mean, we looked for it. I mean. I don't know, like, I don't know if this is common. I, I went and watched some videos, like Nick and so on. And Nick's a, he's a big buyer of Meta Zoo, and he's having doubts about it. Or at least he's having uh, worries about them not delivering. I mean, it's crazy. They can just take your pre-order for months and months and months and not give you something. Like, you know, in real life, that's basically a scam, right? Like, if I wanted to um, buy something and the pre-order kept getting delayed... That is a red flag that, hey, maybe, I, maybe I'm not getting that thing I pre-ordered, right? So anyway, the Hello Kitty thing was a botchery. I mean, holy shit, man. That was, you know, I, I don't get it, man. They, Halloween's got to be a big holiday. I imagine for a cryptid type of and, and Halloween was probably the biggest holiday, and they couldn't get their shit together to deliver the product. Yikes, my dude. Uh, yikes. Anyway. Metazoo to the moon.